Hello Superherd and welcome back to Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle and in the last episode we began our wacky adventure and today we're going to be continuing it but before we do I just want to give a big thank you to you guys for supporting that first episode. Haven't seen the results just yet because I'm recording this basically right after the first episode hasn't come out yet but I hope it did well and I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far but let's talk to Princess Peach again. Uh, be sure to visit the Battle HQ in the museum before you go, they're quite nice actually. So we're gonna check out all of these locations and hopefully we can return to world one. Now I will give you guys a big warning, I'm sure you've already seen the time on this episode, but episodes are gonna be quite long. This is apparently a really huge game and even completing one world takes like two hours. The rabbits here are so excited by our adventures they've taken up to collecting souvenirs on our behalf. Looks like it, they're just sort of gluing things to things, so I don't know how much that is taking souvenirs, but hey. Whatever they want to make them happy. So where does this pipe come? Somewhere, hopefully exciting, whoa! On the other side of the castle at the least. Ooh, wow, it brings us really far. Like really, really far. Is this just like sort of like a hot, quick travel? And then there's another pipe. There's a lot to do around here. Um, There is a lot to do around here. I don't know exactly where I'm going, but it sure as heck feels like the wrong way. I'm throwing back this way. Uh, how do I get down there? Oh, if I take this pipe over here, maybe? Hmm, this is so bizarre, I gotta say. So I don't think we can quite enter this area, or can we? Fascinating, my sisters detect a near field communication. Let's return later. Okay, they're working on something, that's for sure. So yeah, this first brings us right across this little river spot. I think Mario would just want to swim across, but no, that's not his, his, his job right now. We get another piece of something something. Maybe we'll finally find out what these do, but you found a new 3D model. Check it out at the museum. So they are just models, which is cool because that little symbol uh, sort of represents the X, Y, and Z plane um, in actual like 3D modeling. So I guess that's what it's supposed to be like, right? So that's pretty cool. I like that because this game is, of course, sort of a little techy. It's a little tech inspired, which I like. Side of the princess's castle looks pretty good here. Can I check out this tree? Is there anything special about this? No? This game is so cool. It's so weird. It's a weird kind of cool. But sometimes that's the best kind of cool. I wish it was like a dash button. Is this our, wait, is Princess Peach's castle then a hub world? Like I can, I can't quite go this way as you can see. Uh, if we could smash these blocks, we could visit this deadly industrial, like as much, excuse me. Excuse me. What is with that language? Hold on, it's supposed to be a family friendly game. Uh, okay. Um, what's going on here? Uh, nothing much. I'm very off put by that, by the way. Uh, let's go this way. And this is Battle HQ, Rab Rabolatory. So like rabbits, Rabolatory, cool. Battle HQ, team selection, weapon selection. Uh, what can we do? Oh, look at this, we can get information. So we could, you know, learn more about every character. Obviously, it's pretty easy to piece together which character is what here. But uh, for right now, all we have, of course, is Mario. He has a lot of awesome information about all of them. <laughs> I like hers the best. Here. All right, and then there's weapon selection. This is where we can change our weapons. And this is for Mario. Uh, when there's a storm at sea, the sharks are the first to know. So this has 25 to 35 hit damage. 10 cells of range and low cover damage. Interesting. So when you are in cover, you do less damage, I guess? And apparently there's a secondary slot we can't access. This has everything the same, but it's a little bit better. It has a higher percent bounce chance. I wish it was, oh no, no, we can get more of an information about that. Okay, let's see this. Uh, collateral damage done to an enemy's cover position. So this damage is the cover itself. Here, the damage dealt when a weapon super effect is triggered, bounce sends, wait, the damage dealt when a weapon super effect is tri triggered, bounce sends combatants hurling backwards through the air, even sailing out of bounds. Interesting. Uh, the chance of a weapon super effect triggering. Bounce sends combatants, yeah, once again, uh, even sailing out of bounds. So there's some interesting bounce chances happening there. This has honey damage. It has, all the other stats are the same except for these bonus stats we have here. Uh, the damage dealt when a weapon super effect is triggered. Honey causes combatants to be 
to be stuck, preventing them from moving from for one turn. Now, that sounds good. Uh, the chance of a weapon super effect triggering honey causes combatants to be stuck. Okay, so same thing again. So it's just a double honey damage and honey chance. Interesting. Raises the hit damage of this weapon against this type of enemy. So this is specifically good against Ziggy's, which is very good. Oh, I still have to buy them now. Just because I unlock them doesn't mean I get to use them right off the bat. I gotta buy them. So obviously this one's more expensive, but it's much better because it's good against Ziggy's, which we go against quite often, and it has better chances with this honey situation. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, and of course, we will equip it. Why else would we? Can we sell this then? We can't. That would be very helpful. We can't. Okay, so of course, people like a, a rabid peach here also have some. So normally she's 25 to 35, 10 cells low, cover damage, but we can get this upgrade for 500 coins if we had the 500 coins. Um, and then this is 20 to 30 damage. It's actually lower range of damage on average, uh, and everything else is the same. So this would have push damage, that would have burn chance. So what, what was this one it had? Honey, and then this would have push. What is push then? Push is gonna be, Push knocks participants backwards along with any other com combatants in their pa path, even out of bounds. So that is actually, it looks like some kind of collateral almost. And then burn damage seems pretty simple. Burn lights, com burn lights combatants aflame for more damage can spread from one battler to the other. That's actually really good. And it's good against hoppers who we have not fought just yet. Maybe we'll run into those guys soon. Interesting, so we bought our first new weapon. Very, very cool. And it looks like I missed out on getting a Mario weapon somewhere, somehow. So this is World 1, so we can go back to World 1 by going this way. So this does really act as a hub world for all worlds. So how many worlds are there gonna be? I don't know, but here's the museum. It's gonna be the Rub Uh We got one of these. Oh, look at this! Fancy little art. So we got Leafy World. That's cool, looks like some kind of concept art. Here we have a soundtrack. All right, uh, and then models, which these honestly look a little weird. The lighting on them is weird. I don't really like that too much. We got a couple of them, as you can see. <laughs> oh, I like that one on the sunflower. And Toadent, I think that's all we have there. And then cards, not really sure what they do, but looks like just fun things look at. And hey, just cutscene. Aha, look over there. Um. Oh. These clever rabbits have outfitted a cannon so that it can launch us back to the ancient gardens. This comes in handy as our mysterious helper gave me the power to warp to Princess Peach's castle. And the cannons can send us back to the front. The ability to return to Princess Peach's castle at will has even been added to the pause menu. Cool. I just wanted to really show that on my face. So we got a little bit more to check out though. Let me check out whatever else we can and then we'll be gung-ho about defeating World 1 today. Even if the episode's like an hour and a half long. The Mega Bug damaged a rabbit's combo washer and time machine, else I'd take a trip to the French Baroque period. So this is actually a time machine as well. Huh, and then where does this lead? Hopefully somewhere interesting, it looks like just down here. Okay, I'll take that, and that'll be another song, Ziggy's Battle. Cool, and that's everything. You know, this game feels like a rareware game at time. Like, I mean, I know that the music is made by uh, the same person who made like Banjo-Kazooie music, and that's probably adding a lot to that feel, but it definitely feels like some kind of Banjo-Kazooie style game at times. Uh, let's go back to the Ancient Gardens then, and we will have the big old goal of completing some stuff. I still can't move this thing. What is this? I haven't learned how to do this yet. There's a lot more our fun friend Beepo, our fun friend Beepo can learn here. Ooh, let's press that. So that right there, and that cannon, which looks like a Donkey Kong style cannon, will launch us back to world one. Not too worried about it for right now then. Let's pick up all these. Ooh, ooh. It looks like there's no timer for this, which I actually appreciate a whole lot. Uh, what'll this get me then? Um, oh, a golden chest, cool. So it seems like they always give us something fancy like that. Can we get something more out of the golden chest then? I'm not really sure, it is. Uh, it is a new weapon, okay. Blah Blaster. Like Van Gogh, rabbits often practice their craft with tortured tributes of themselves. Oh, splendid. <laughs> Was that everything we could accomplish over here for right now? I love how Mario throws his hands up, like wee. He's just enjoying himself. 
It's a very light-hearted soundtrack tune. Anyways, I think we're gonna have to go back into World 1. Our main goal will be to complete it in today's episode. And then my, I think in general, our goal will be to complete half a world in episode. That'll probably mean the episodes will be quite long, but from what I see, this game is super long. So, we'll have to see, that's what my goal will be. So where does this lead? Wait, where exactly are we right now? This will bring me way over here and and this is, yeah, we were already here previously, and this is when we teleported back to Princess Peach's castle. Now, what is the Battle HQ button that's grayed out on the bottom right? Um, Will that just teleport me back to Princess Castle? No, I see, we can actually mess with their team selection and we can choose new weapons if we have the coins for them. So we actually did get that middle slot now. That is so weird looking. I like what we got though. I think that Mario is going to be packing quite the punch, and that's good. So, let's get more coins though. Now I know what coins can do for me. I need to get as many as I possibly can. New weapons sound great. Now I wonder if we can even get armor. Any kind of wearable, you know, thing we can buy. That'd be interesting. But it looks like we're going into level 1-3 now. Uh, world 1-3, danger from above. So the other, the first two levels didn't have any names, huh? Or at least they didn't tell us what the name was of it. So that's weird, but we're going into our first battle. Uh-oh. So this guy is a bouncer, look at the little springs on his feet. It's like reverse arms, it's legs. <laughs> okay, well, they're bouncing around. <laughs> Hopper, that's what it's not called, that's called, not a bouncer. Team jumping jerks. Oh, well, okay, now there's only two of them. Oh, no, back to three. Oh, boy. Oh, gosh, a new breed of hopping enemies. Team jump will prove invaluable. Use it to gain the upper hand. Okay, defeat all. Okay, well, we'll do what we can. And this is the key. What's this? Our pseudon pseudonymous sympathizer just sent me a system update. From now, before combat begins, you can choose whether to leap headlong into the head heat of battle or take time to carefully plan your strategy first, thanks to this new app called her Tacticam. Try it. Okay. Uh, prepare for battle and fight. So I guess we could, um, look, if I prepare for battle, and I can take a look at different stats, which is very cool. So I can take a look at Mario, Peach, Rabbit Peach, and Rabbit Luigi. I can take a look at you and see your different stats. I, I'm sure this would be incredibly helpful, especially if there's any kind of specific boss fight. Um, we can see their area of movement, their blaster damage. You can see that they're covered up. I mean, sort of, kind of, but not really. All right, well, it's fine. I don't think there's really too much more information I can gather from here, unless I was supposed to find out that there was somebody hidden somewhere. But really, what I could do as Mario here is maybe I could, ooh, I could even hide behind here, which might be more tactical. Now I'm looking at it. Uh, targets out of range. Oh, so I can't hit anybody from here. That's actually a bummer. Um, so maybe instead what I could do is bounce off of you and get up here. Look at us. Cool combo. Can we hit somebody from here then? Um, I can, I can smack you for the 100% damage. Bada bing, bada boom. So definitely I wanna be able to increase the damage of our other Ravage friends here, that way if I do make a mistake with Mario like that, you know, there's still some things I can do about it. Um, then my best bet is to also get you up here. The problem is I don't know how to do that without, you know, you being vulnerable. So maybe instead I should just play a little bit defensive. I mean, I don't know what the blaster range is. If I go like this, well no, I know that, no. I want to use the blaster for her. Why can't I do that? I understand. I don't know, that's really weird. Um, oh, because I'm pressing the wrong button. Um, so that's actually a pretty long range. So if I do go here, I think it'll be enough to, uh, yeah, it will. Bada bing, bada boom, you're out of here, Ziggy, sorry. It's the only <laughs> character I have an extra weapon on that's good against Ziggy is did not even get a chance to attack this Ziggy. So now, now it's the enemy's turn. Yep, enemies. So these are our new hopper enemies. They're going to do what we do, but seemingly even better. Looks like not choosing to attack anything just yet. More attacking the uh, the blockade, which might count, count, end up you know going to bite us. But oh, there's a coin here. Oh gosh, oh gosh. They got one more shot. Will they be able to block it, or are they going backwards? Okay. Hero's turn, let me get that. Oh, it seems like the more they destroy this blockade, the more coins pop out of it, okay. Hmm, and I can even pick those up outside of the range. This camera moves a little weird, like I don't get the perfect angle I'm looking for, and it sort of gives me a headache. Or maybe I just already had a headache, and that's sort of my problem. Um, 
I don't know how I want to do this. I think I want to start with, mm, I'm just not sure. What if I was, okay, as Rabid Luigi, was hoping for something a little better here. Maybe I could go over here and, uh, I was hoping for a higher chance of hitting him from this angle, but I guess not. Oh, well, bada bing, bada boom. No, I didn't want to hit the barricade game. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Maybe I could get up here, though. Maybe this is silly, but hey, maybe it'll give him a new focus to attack. Yeah, I want to hit Yoon. I don't understand. Oh, you know, maybe it's just the fact that I didn't choose to hit the barricade. It was just my 50% chance failed. Oh, I hit the critical though, and that's honey. So that person's gonna be stuck there and they will not be able to move. So I can maybe then spend my energy focusing on a different character. So how about I just switch like that and can I hit this person, ready? Aim, fire. Now I hit the barrier again. Okay, not the end of the world. Uh, let me maybe go back here and hide. And I think that's all I can do, so it's the enemy's turn. He cannot move, because he is stuck in honey, so, but he can still attack. Unfortunately, he hit the bear here, or fortunately. Oh, Rabbit Luigi got hit. That stinks. But it's not GG quite yet. Okay, so you're running out, you're gonna bounce over there, and, and you're gonna attack us, right? This is so cool. I can definitely see how this game could get very tactical. I guess that's really what it's called, right? A tactical RPG? Hmm. I don't like too much we can do beyond, I think. Hmm. I don't know, maybe I'll make my way out here and just sort of be bold about it. And I will attack you head on. Ready? Boom. Yeah, okay, I hit you. Not the barrier. That's good. So Mario, you're in a good opportunity right now just to keep attacking this guy. Oh yeah, that's right, I can slide attack them. Then maybe get back here and and attack them normally. I gotta remember, you can do slide attacks. I totally forgot about that already. A little break from the action got me a little rusty, I guess, and that wasn't enough to take you out, so I guess I'll finish you off that way. Now we have Rabbit Luigi to worry about. I think I'm gonna go ahead and slide attack you and bounce up here. Wow, we got like so many like, spaces of movement, though, which is crazy. Like, we can just do so much in one turn. There we go, run up here, bounce up there, and then attack you, just like that. So if that does land, it will not, but now you don't have, hey, give me my coin back. But uh, I guess they could have uh, ended up, um, whoa, look at him dodging under the other one. Can we do that, or would we end up hitting each other? I hadn't even thought about that. Oh boy, you're just gonna attack her right away. This is not good, we're taking a beating. Now you're running back there. And... Hmm, okay, hero's turn. I think I am going to switch first off to Rabid Peach, because if I'm Rabid Peach, I can slide attack you and, and then hide back here, I guess? Here, let me change the camera. That's not too bad. And then, boom, that finishes you off, right? Um, Actually, not quite. So now I can just attack you straight in the face, boom. <laughs> Still not enough to beat you, pretty crazy. I can't slide attack from here. I can't actually reach her at all. So let's switch to Marion. Um, I could, Bounce like this, um, but that ends my turn, I think. Once I uh, do that, my turn's over. Hmm. Well, I don't know then. But this is actually getting really difficult right away. Let me just bounce up here then. Because like once I do that, my movement's over. Like I don't get to choose much more than that. So let's go ahead and attack you. These, I, okay. But these characters have so much health, it's crazy. The uh, bouncers, jumpers, something like that. I already forget. Uh, <laughs> geez, and that's gonna be real yet. I think that we wanna stick with that. Let's just hope that Rabbit Peach can hold on. It would be nice to have like items or something to give uh, characters more health or some kind of healing class. Maybe like that can be something that happens or maybe it'll just be purely combat focused. Come on, dodge it. Oh. We're not getting very lucky with the dodges either, which is not good. Okay, we're back as uh, Mr. Luigi here, Rabid Luigi. Still getting used to that. But now that like this guy is totally not covered at all, we can get 100% chance at hitting him. Boom, finish him off. So now, what is my biggest goal? As Mario, I could bounce off of, you know, Peach here, Rabid Peach. But would that really be worth it? I I could do that. 
and then I could just land here and then just try to blast him right in the face. Bada bing, bada boom. And then attack you like that. And then hopefully Rabid Peach can bounce off of Mario and just land right behind him and get a guaranteed shot. Get a bit of a backstab. That's what we want right there. And, and that's gonna finish off this round because that's the last we gotta do. Uh, bada bing, bada boom, nice. So, is that gonna be a perfect? Do we do that in enough turns? We did. That's actually surprising, to be honest with you. But hey, we did it. I had to take a drink of tea after action like that. So battles can take a long time. Just one individual battle can eat up a lot of time. I don't see too much else going on here except for a Goomba, giant Goomba being bounced up in water. It would be interesting if we did go against enemies like Goombas or Koopas, you know, stuff that isn't just rabbits, but I don't know, we'll have to see. On the plus side, his backside has got to be extremely clean by now. I don't know, I feel like Goombas are always a, a little bit greasy at all points in time. Reach Arian. What is this? Seems like quite the challenge. We gotta reach that Arian. Beware, this area seems quiet, but my sensors detect the presence of lots of hidden enemies. It'll be impossible to defeat them all. Let's just focus on reaching that safe zone at the end of the battlefield. As long as one of us reaches the safe zone, we win. Interesting. So if I prepare for battle really quickly, I wanna see, do we have full health? Do we get our health restored? We do not. So we really wanna be careful here because I could end up making a huge, huge mistake. Um. What does that mean, I can lock a character? Hmm, anyways, fight. Yep. Uh, No, I did not want to pass, <laughs> I did not mean to press that. Can go to the tactic cam again. So we have three rabbits over here. I don't even know what these guys are, but I don't think I want to know. So really what we could do is I think that since Mario has the most health, I think he's gonna be the one that's left behind, to be honest. Um. So I wanna make sure he's hiding in a good position because if he's hiding here, they could just walk up to around here and just shoot at me. So I wanna make sure Mario is hiding like here, I think would be the best one. And then we're gonna have, the problem is that uh, it's just not a large bounce range for these characters, but I could bounce and maybe land here. This might be the safest spot. Bada bing, bada boom. I just, maybe that was a mistake though. Oh, I can attack you from here though, so guaranteed shot if we hit you, because why not? You know, just extra damage is extra damage. Uh, now I want to switch to Peach. Oh, I wish I could do like a double bounce. Can I do a little bit? I can't. So no matter what, I'm gonna have a hard time getting to this pipe, so maybe I could have planned that out a little better. Hmm, because if I bounced here, I could have, I don't know. Like if I could have gotten Mario set up in a better spot, but that's all I gotta work with right, right now. So let's go ahead and hide Peach here. Rabid Peach, I keep on just wanting to call her Peach. She ain't just Peach down. And then she can't reach anybody. So it's the enemy's turn now, that's all we can do. Hopefully the enemies don't do anything too awful. He's actually gonna move backwards. Okay, they're all moving backwards. We might have to like, oh, we can fast forward it. Dude, that's actually quite nice. Appreciate that, oh, and there's more. Oh, we gotta be careful, we gotta keep moving. Um, So if I, Tactic can. can I just move this anywhere? So this pipe will probably bring us right here. And they're all over there, so it'll give us some time to swerve around here and go around like that. That's our goal. So for right now, I'm gonna go through here. And once again, I gotta be wary of these rabbits, and the most defensive spot I can have for Rabbit Peach then will be right here. Once again, she has her lowest health, and I don't want her taken out so that we can try to get a perfect. I can't land damage on any of these guys from this angle. But hey, if I need to attack somebody, I might as well just attack the barrier. Make it a little bit easier for me. So now, I will go through here, and bounce off of you, and land here, I guess is good. Here, if I, mm, you know what I should do instead then? Um, Because if I do that, I can land here. And, but the problem is that, like, if I want Mario to go through here, he's not gonna reach that. So I guess my best bet is if I want Mario to go super far, I should do that. Cause that way Mario can reach that, bounce off of him and maybe even get even farther than all the other characters. Um, so I can shoot the barrier again. Maybe if I make them vulnerable, that's actually a really good shot. Can I go through? Yes I can. I was getting a little worried there. So how far can this bring me? Pretty far, but not incredibly, you know? Uh, so I can't speed up on my turn, unfortunately. Only the enemies. 
Yeah, that makes sense. It makes sure that I'm paying attention to what's going on. I can shoot you, maybe even finish you off. I knocked you down to 50% health with the first shot, but oh gosh, here are more of them. Once again, they're just gonna keep attacking, so Mario's gonna take a bit of a beating here. I'm sorry, Mario. And all five of them are gonna attack here? That's insane. Come on. Oh, we gotta get lucky with the dodges. Here, speed up, speed up. Come on, you're gonna attack. We are not getting lucky at all with these dodges, come on. Okay, finally, jeez. There. Okay, our turn. I'm not gonna play as Mario first. Instead, I'll play as Peach. Oh man, so we still got a long way to go is a scary thing. I wonder if I should play a game of like, keep away with Peach then. Like, I'll just hide here. And that should give her just about 100% coverage. I don't think anything's gonna hit her from there. She's looking pretty sly though. Who can we attack right away? Or at least have a good chance of hitting maybe? We could try to take care of you. One less makes it easier for us. So I'm glad we landed that. Now we can switch to Rabbit Luigi. Make you jump all the way over here. That is quite the distance. Really happy about that. And then you can attack you and see if this lands. It does not. Okay, so do we still have Mario to control? We do, and he can go super duper far, because he could go almost every, the problem is that he's taken such a beating that I'm not even sure if it's a good idea, because he will be 100% vulnerable over here. It might be a smarter idea for him just to run and hide right here for now, and just, okay, so we do get to land a shot here, and I guess I'll land that on you, because you seem to be pretty low, but oh! Cool camera angle and everything. I don't know why we got that, but I won't complain about it. Okay. Well, they're gonna make their turn. We're gonna do what we can about it. And we're just gonna keep moving. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Oh, he's really starting to destroy that. They're really angry at Rabbit Luigi, but we are so close. We, we just gotta pick up these coins, and we just gotta figure this out. So if I'm... Peach, right now, I could jump off of Mario and hide where Rabbit Luigi is. So I think Rabbit Luigi is gonna be the one who has the gun for it, I think. Maybe not, maybe if, uh, hmm, I think maybe. Uh, because if, say that Rabbit Luigi does go through here, right? Can he do anything more? Like if I, uh, oh, he can't reach it just yet though, oh no. <laughs> Okay. Um. Well, what what about a Mario here? What can he can he reach the pipe on his own? Because if so, then he could. No, he can't. Not even close. Oh, what is our best bet here then? I wish I had an extra character to help us out. We do not have that thumb. So I think my best bet will be to just go here and take cover. All right. Good luck, Rabbit Luigi. I'll need all of the luck. I can get, he can't, yeah, and all targets are out of sight, so not really too worried about that. We are going to keep Mario here. I'm gonna have Rabbit Peach jump over like that. The stakes are high right now, though, it's scary. And then she can blast somebody. Try this guy. Bada bing, bada boom, got him. Okay, so you still can attack somebody, not really too worried about it. I could have Mario move now. But obviously, it might not be a good idea at all. I think, honestly, we should keep Mario as a bit of a decoy then. Keep him here. I know, I'm not trying to do that. Just trying to make you shoot at least one of them. Let's try you then. Ready? Yeah. Aim, fire, nice. So it wasn't enough to take him out, but it's enough to help us out. Enemy turn, let's see what they can do. Have them speed up a little bit too. If I can remember which button's the Y button. Oh gosh, that's not good. That's not good. No, please don't take her out. Please don't take her out. No, 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 no. No, that's gonna be it. Oh, come on. We did all of this stuff just for her to get taken out anyways? Oh no. Just switch to Luigi. We were right here. We were right here, so there's no way we got it perfect. I wonder if I can maybe do it again. We got good, but that's not perfect. Not perfect at all, but we get some extra heals, which is good because we desperately needed it. Why couldn't we get that before? Oh, well. Oh, because maybe now it's technically the end of the level, and once we complete the level, and... Oh, just a silver. Just a silver trophy. That stinks. Like, um, the completionist in me is screaming. Uh, So where does this pipe lead? Now that we're just magically here. 
This pipe is gonna lead me back to where we were. No, it's not, it's gonna bring me to this chest, which is gonna have a music piece, a towering view. Cool. Well, it's something. Even if that something makes me sad because I could have done better. I don't see too much more, of course, besides a coin there. Nothing else here. You'd think that maybe you sneak a secret somewhere around here, but I don't see one. Uh, Yeah, not too much. I'm seeking the secrets, but I'm not getting many results. But hey, that's fine. Level four, what we got here? Um, Dialogue, okay. It is vital that we stop that rabid who integrated himself into the super merge before he creates any more atrocities. Well, that might be a hard thing to do if we don't know where he is. Uh. I received another message from our mysterious friend. Let me read it to you. Congratulations, Beepo. You have successfully led your party uh, through tri trials and tra travails worthy of Odysseus, Odysseus himself. Finally, someone gives me the credit I'm due. <laughs> Mario's happy for you. This, of course, is mainly due to Mario and your rabid friends, whose skill is in battle you vastly underestimated. Ah. <laughs> is that it? Yes, well, <clears throat> Beepo did help a lot, I gotta give him credit. Though as with Odysseus, there are rougher waters ahead. Therefore, I feel the time has come to bestow upon you some new tools for your arsenal. Oh my, are these new weapons? What are these, are new abilities? Henceforth, in addition to being able to move and fire upon your adversaries, you will each be able to perform one other action during the natural course of combat. Oh. To Mario, I have given the gift of Hero Sight. When activated, he will be able to strike at foes within range even outside the normal succession of events. Interesting, so he has like a sniper move? And then, to Rabbit Beach, I give the gift of Shield. When used, it will reward against most weapons damage. Interesting, so she's a more defensive character now. To Rabbit Luigi, I grant Super Barrier, protects against enemy super effects and can also reduce damage. Okay, so specific things like honey or bounce might not be very useful against Rabbit Luigi anymore. As for how to most effectively use your new gifts, I leave that to you to discover for yourselves. More gifts will come in the future, and I hope with anticipation, you're and your biggest fan. Hooray! Well, aha, our incognito ally's ability to give us exactly what we need at exactly the right time is uncanny. Remind me not to play them at Go Fish. Uh, I'll try, but none of the characters that you're joined with really talk too much, so they're probably not gonna remind you of anything. Okay, well, let's keep going. There are a lot of Goombas being rinsed by waterfalls, or I guess water splurts, something like that. This is a lot more swampy. I wonder if there's gonna be environmental effects soon. What is that? Check out those suspicious covers. They have the same super effect symbol as most weapons have. They look re ready to explode or something. Let's avoid using weapons within close proximity. Ah, oh, here we go, environmental effects. So if we were to prepare for battle, what can we really see? Everybody should have full health, and that is indeed true. Hmm. Well, I don't really see too much more about what I could do unless we can upgrade some weapons. We do actually, well, can I? Wait, exit and lose your lineup changes? Yes, because I don't need to change the lineup. Weapon selection. I can buy new weapons here. Uh, we have 500 coins, why don't we go ahead and upgrade some stuff, or upgrade some stuff for Rabbit Peach, equip it. We can't afford Lu uh, Rabbit Luigi's upgrades just yet, but we'll definitely get that burn, I think. So it has push, it has the same symbol as push, so maybe if we attack it, it gets pushed. We don't know until we find out, so Mario, I'm gonna have you move, oh, look at this, how much you wanna bet this is an unbreakable bar barrier? I can't speak, apparently. Um, It's just a matter of trying to find a place to set up, where maybe, just maybe, I can either land a couple shots on a couple guys, or I can try to attack your barrier. Boom, just like that, and it pushes you out of the field, that's fantastic. Okay, what is this, triggered, so I can, what did that do? Oh, maybe I was supposed to trigger that before, probably. Um, damage reduction up to 40%. I don't think I'll quite need that right now, but what I could do is go up to Mario, um, no, 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 I could, Hold on, where's, okay, yeah. Go here, and then I'm gonna have you attack that other one and hopefully knock him off. That would be great. Um, and then attack you, ready, and bada boom. Awesome, so we're using the environment to our benefit. As you can see over there though, there's actually an additional rabbit. 
I won't worry about the super effect for right now. Instead, I'm going to have you hide, I guess somewhere a little more protective, even though you do have the stronger shot right now. Let's see if this lands. It will not. Wasn't really expecting it. I wonder if shooting from a distance actually has any effect. Will shooting from a distance increase the chance of, you know, that 50% not being our benefit? Oh! Okay, maybe I'm misinterpreting what that does. Cause he just sort of shot him, that was not me. So maybe it just, whenever there's a character available to be shot, Mario will just take aim and fire. Interesting stuff. So you're gonna go over there, you're gonna try to take a shot, but you're just gonna hit the barrier. There's only those two heroes remaining, so. Hmm. Wish I had a better opportunity for a uh, rabid peach here. Where is this character over there? I don't think I could really do too much here as rabid peach. I think my best bet then is to like, Mm, even that wouldn't be the best idea. I mean, I could just simply, like if I go like this, it's just that would be silly because I'd be leaving myself open. So maybe I could like, wait, what, what, what is this pipe gonna lead to? Over here, wait a minute. So let's go back to Peach here, Rabbit Peach. She can reach this pipe actually. So if we go through this pipe, we can go over here and, and then trying to find out, would that leave this guy open? It's very difficult to see because the camera doesn't really work that way. Um, no. So if I put her here, and it still doesn't show me. I guess I just sort of have to hope, but it doesn't look like it, because if I look, guess what's directly in the way is this block. So maybe if I got her here, she would still have a direct shot to this guy, sort of. I don't know where if he's hiding on this side or that side. It's really hard to tell. Um, let's just get her here. Let's just get her here and see what she can shoot at, what she can't, and we'll make the most of it. So from here, I mean, you can't, that's right, everything's out of range. So is that really all that helpful? I guess not. Um, But I can get Rabbit Luigi somewhere, maybe just on the other side of this barrier, and then it's still a 0% chance for both of you bozos? I don't like that. All right, I might as well try to get rid of this a little bit. Maybe that'll help. Um, Back to you, I don't have this, so one triggered, Hero sign. I wish it would give me some more information there, but uh, guess a little too late for that. So I gotta remember, I can do the slide attack. I don't know why that is something I routinely forget, because I could have actually used that quite a lot. I can make you run back, and then even like loop back here. And... Ooh, is that a good idea though? Hmm. I could just, you know, maybe I could steal your position? That might be good, or just something like this. So boom, slide and attack you, and then Lily just straight up attack you like this, it'll let me, boom. Bada bang, right in the face! Yeesh. And that's some, oh, a golden shot. What does that mean? Does that mean it was just a face shot? Very painful. Um, I just wanted to see if maybe I could pick up those coins, but it looks like I can't, so I think we're gonna leave it with that. I, don't, I really doubt that anybody's gonna go for Rabbit Peach, but maybe I'm gonna be proven wrong here because you, okay. Oh wow, you actually missed. How did you miss that? You had a 0% shot of chance of missing, I thought. I guess I thought wrong. Maybe I could have you, oh, not quite. Gabe's not helping me with that kind of stuff today, I can tell you that much. Hmm. I mean, even from here, I have a 50% chance of hitting him, so maybe I should just try for it. Ready? Um. I mean, for you, actually, no. For you, I'm just gonna make you walk right up to him, and I'm just gonna make you shoot him, because you can have a ton of health, can you? I mean, you have a decent amount. Boom, just like that. Is that a golden shot? That is not. So what makes a golden shot a golden shot? I'm not really sure, but just in case we mess up here, I will have the weapon damage reduction because if not, it's gonna be the last thing in this battle. I don't know if those kind of cooldowns, like this two turns, will this carry over to the next one? Who really knows? But I think that since Mario does have the more powerful weapon and I can't really do much, I have two options here. I can either bounce off a rabbit Luigi to try to get a better shot or, I mean, yeah, I could still do that. So actually, let me switch to Rabbit Luigi. I can move, like, right here. It's not the best position to move right here. Maybe that was a bit of a mistake, actually, now that I think about it. Maybe I should have been a little bit farther. Oh, well, too late now. Because I was gonna say, maybe Mario could bounce off Rabbit Luigi, but is this too far now? Yes, it is. I'm such a dingus. All right, my best bet is just to go here and and shoot right at you. Come on, bada bing, bada boom, 35? No, nope, nothing. Okay, I tried. We guys will make you immune and leave this up to the enemy. What are you gonna do, enemy? You're gonna go right for Marion. Sort of predictable. 
Hmm. All right, now he's just gonna hide. Okay, Rabbit Peach, your turn the shine, hopefully. Just move right here and just once again, attack him that on or mess it up and just only have a 50% chance. But we got him. Not enough to finish him off again. I could slide attack him, bounce right next to him. Something silly like that, even though I don't think it's exactly necessary. But I think that finished him off, right? Yes, it did. Okay, we win. Easy enough, right? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> well, we did what we could. That's all I'm asking for. Let's get some coins, whatever coins we can get, which seems to just be that one. There doesn't look to be anything else, any kind of secrets in the battlefield, so oh, let me get that coin. We have 305 coins. We need another 520 to buy Rabbit Luigi's weapon, but we're too busy battling rabbits to even worry about it, so we ain't. Okay. Um. Strange, though it looks like there is there are only two of those rabbit marked covers. My sensors detect four of them. Watch out, they may be disguised as normal covers. What does that exactly mean? Let's prepare for battle and sort of comb over the whole thing, because maybe I'm missing something here. We have two rabbits here, and we have one rabbit here, and, and like on the top right it says defeat all and has five little dots. I think that's you know to symbolize that there's five different rabbits. So maybe if I could find a way, maybe if, like, this says it has push, so would it push somebody, or if attacking this, would that push the block over here? I don't know, I think I just gotta wait for people to get closer to it, and that's gonna be my best bet. So we might as well fight. And, uh, hmm. I think, yeah, okay, so cooldowns do get restarted. You can see I, I just used some of these the last turn and, and the last, uh, battle and they're already ready again. So let me, mm, I'm thinking about what to do, what's the best thing I could do. I could just slide attack you and then attack you dead on maybe? Mm, I don't know if it would be a good idea to attack you dead on, but maybe I could sit from here and then just attack you like that. Maybe I won't get a guaranteed shot at you, but it's, it's something. Uh, ready? Boom. I really didn't get it. <laughs> All right, and we'll use this, just in case. Will you use it right away, though? I think you can only use it during the enemy's turn. Hmm. See, if I was, like, hiding in this barrier and they exploded it, would that hurt me? I think the only way to really find out is the hard way. So I think I might end up doing that soon. I mean, I don't know if I should slide attack you. Maybe instead I should slide attack you and... I should bounce off here and land here and then do some blaster damage. Ready, whoop, yep. And then, oh, that won't be enough to finish you off though. But we can still get some stuff done here. No, that did finish you off, what do you know? So the little preview thing doesn't always mean, and we'll damage reduction you just in case my prediction is true. We will side attack you and we will hide here and, and then we'll attack you full on and that should take you out as well. This guy's just a Ziggy though. No, okay, that actually took him all, took him out right there, which is actually not that great because now he's not in a good position. So we are just gonna go ahead and enemy turn it, um, just like that, and we'll see if this box will explode a rabid peach. Oh yeah, these pipes. Um, gotta remember those. But oh, Mario's on the case. Boom, headshot. Eesh. But he's not really in that good of a position. He can actually 100% hit Mario though, so that's not good. And we have a lot to survive here, because remember, we gotta finish this entire level without dying. If we run out of health, then whatever level we run out of health is gonna be imperfect. I wonder what happens if we lose a character on not the final battle of a level, though. Do we just not have that character for the rest of that level? Not really sure. Either way, these rabbits are really rough. But, oh, ooh. Okay, now we got some good moves we can make. Especially if they stop attacking Mario. That is definitely a pre-recorded Mario. Stop! We've heard of that one before. I'm gonna, I wish I had more opportunities here, but I sort of do. I could go over here and, oh, but that's sort of the thing. When you bounce, it's the last thing you can do. So I don't know if that's really what I wanna do. I mean, I guess my best case scenario is to hide like right here. And, and oh, I'm playing as Luigi, okay. And I'm not gonna even attack you. I'm actually going to try to attack this box if I can manage. Oh, I can attack the box. I can't choose the box as its own individual unit. Interesting. Hmm. 
So then my best bet um, is not even to worry about that. Maybe I could slide attack Yoon and then have myself bounce off of Luigi, land here and attack that box. That's what I wanna do as Mario. That should finish you off. We got some cool tactics, right? Did I not finish him off? No, it did, okay, I can hear the sound effect. All right, Mario, I'm just gonna have you shoot this guy. You have a 0% chance of hitting him, which means you have 100% chance of hitting that box. Push both of them out of here. See ya, what? Oh, but they're bouncers. So that doesn't matter, you little stinkers. What is my best case scenario here then? I guess it would be to do this, to do that. Oh, Mario's also in a dangerous spot here. Because if that explodes, it might actually hurt him then. And then land here so that you can get cover to maybe just maybe hit this guy. So will that finish that guy off? It won't. Mm, who should I attack here? I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter a huge, huge ton. Let's just, boom. Let's see if we can't hit higher than 30. We cannot, so he's gonna stick around. Best thing we can do here is just hope that if they pull out a super effect, we'll be as okay as possible. Can't wait to run into our other Mario pals. Of course, I know for a fact that you can play as like Mario, or of course Mario, but Luigi, Peach, and Yoshi. Why don't we get our chance for that? I would be cool if this game had amiibo support. I don't have any amiibo, but I, from my knowledge, this game does not have any amiibo support. I know that the figures that come with this game are totally bogus because they don't count as amiibo. Like they don't actually come with the game, but you can buy figures that are like $40 each, but they're not amiibo. And that is just so bizarre to me. All right, I need you to get somewhere, right? So I think the best thing I can do is have you bounce here. That'll keep you slightly blockaded from that one little jerk and just be able to just get rid of it because you have three health. Not too much more you can do to me. Hmm. And then Mario here, and let's bring you through the pipe. We haven't used the pipes at all. I could do that. And then I think we could finish him off right here and finish this battle, because I'm pretty sure this right here is the last rabbit. I haven't seen any. Of course, they haven't had their turn, if that's the case, so it would be weird. Okay, that should be it. And it is battle cleared. So nice stuff. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. This is a fun game, by the way. I'm, like, I'm actually having a really good time with this, so I think this is something that will have a happy home on the channel. So we did get perfect there, so we do get a couple extra coins, but okay, so we perfected both things this time, so we didn't get that awful silver trophy. And that means we get more coins, which means better stuff, so if we could go back and perfect that one, that'd be great. I might have to do that on my own time, though. Hmm. Seems as though there are indeed secrets around here that I'm gonna look out for. This just leads me here. And I like the little piranha plant lamp over there. That's funny. Like it combined a piranha plant and a lamp at some point for some reason, but there is a little secret area over here. I wonder if this was available during the actual battle. Probably not. White Rabbids, new 3D model. Cool. Hopefully we can get every model. I mean, like I said before, there's stuff we can backtrack because of those pushable blocks we found towards the end of the first episode, which if you haven't seen, what are you doing here? Go check that episode out. So yeah, speaking of which, pushable blocks we still don't know how to do anything with. So we will have to re-adventure levels, so maybe at that point I can also... Dirty toilet? I have so many questions here. Me and you both, Beepo. Perhaps they're better left unanswered. Yeah, what is with also the, the heavy metal rubber ducky? I don't know, I'm just gonna keep moving. Mario and toilet humor. Oh, look at this. Wait, is this a battle area? It's not. I can't go that way. I can, however, go this way, but I can't go that way. So getting every coin here might be a bit of a challenge. I can go here though. Okay, this is gonna take some time. And uh, you're gonna have to bear with me. I'm not the best at mazes, but I'm not, I don't think I'm the worst. I don't think my you know, sensor direction is that awful. So I can't go that, this one's a dead end. I wish it was a run faster button, but at the same time I can sort of understand why there isn't. We're running pretty fast as it is. Uh, this is a little sun. That'll remove these two blocks. I'm pretty sure that will, no, that is not the main path. So there is a chest there. So I go back over in that area just to make sure I don't miss that. Because I don't know uh, if we'll ever have to go back to this area. It doesn't look like it because it doesn't seem like there's anything else here. But we'll get ourselves a new 3D model. Look at the little rabbit on the top left pretending to be a lamp. Why does he make that kind of noise? Oh, he doesn't. That was just something else that made the noise. A garden hopper is our model there. I really want to get everything in this game, though. As long as it doesn't take me like 20,000 hours, which it might, because some games are like that. Um, but if it's a fun collecting, so far it's been fun to collect things. If it continues to be fun to collect things, I'll definitely be collecting more things. 
So which way am I going? I'm going this way. I can't quite go that way. I can go this way. Can't go down here? I can. Hmm, interesting little statue here. Intimidating piranha, triple piranha plant statue. Um, can't go that way. Maybe I could go, no. Nope. I wanna get every coin, but I don't know how I get that coin, the lost loan coin there. Hmm, can't go that way. I am definitely running out of uh, ways to go options. Oh, look at this. So I can go like that, and this. Oh, can't go back that way. I'm really glad that doesn't seem to be a timer. I mean, there's at least no time sound effect going off. I feel like I was already down there. Hmm, weird. Let me go down this way first. Cause I don't know which way's the right way. But, this is a way. Is this, I think this is actually, oh yeah, this is level five. We don't quite wanna do that just yet then. I'm not ready for that. Oh no, wait, are we running out of time for the coins? We did, but you can just try again. Okay, I appreciate that. I, I, I get what you're putting, I'm picking up what you're putting down, game. I'm picking up what you're putting down. So I can go back this way, I can loop around here. And try to get another red coin. I'm gonna probably run out of time again, an additional time, or not. Okay. No wait, I'm missing one. Where is this eighth coin? I must have missed it, because it's not here. Uh, Well, I'm getting some extra coins this way. This was a dead end path, though. What is, I hear a poor rabbit getting beat up. Don't know where that's happening. So we missed a coin there. I guess I gotta try it again. Okay, I don't know which one I missed the first time, but I got them all this time. And there we go, right by the scary statue. And that's everything we could find in this area. It looks like that was all the exits, so I'm gonna assume it is. Um, We can get back from here. And open that up, and what is this gonna be? It's always something cool, it's in the golden chest, and this time it will be a new weapon, I think, right? I love a. Rabbit Peach's phone. The Rainbow Runner. Bad guy trouble melts like lemon drops and dreams of butt kickings really do come true over this rainbow. Interesting. Hmm, so where are we going? Not this way. Not that way. I mean, I should know that. I, I should know this puzzle by the back of my hoof at this point, but for some reason I do not. But it's this way we have to go. So if we go to our Battle HQ really quickly, I wanna see, uh, how many, we have enough coins to definitely give Rabbit Luigi a much needed upgrade to this one, which also has Burn Chance, which I really, really like, so let's equip that. And what should our next upgrade be? I mean, the, the next thing we can even upgrade is this Rainbow Runner we just got. So we should save up for that 520 coins. Shouldn't be awful. So yeah, let's give it a shot. And going to level five. Man, this takes a while. We might actually have to do more than two episodes per world at this point, because I've been recording for a good while. I mean, of course, I don't know. Hmm. What of one five? Oh, brother, where art thou? Hopefully somewhere soon. Is this gonna be, wait, does that mean we're gonna find Luigi? Ooh, defeat all. Well, we'll try to defeat all. This time we're on higher ground compared to our enemies. Did you know that you gain a damage bonus when you attack from above? Ooh, fire upon an enemy from this advantage point and see for yourself. Interesting, so let's just go right into fighting. Um, trying to find out, if I go here, and can I? Okay, so I think that's actually the case. So you can see right now that rabbit that's closest to us is highlighted in red. But if I go here, and it's no longer highlighted in red. And I think why that is, is because when it's highlighted in red, that means it's actually in my battle like area. So I could go here, and I'll be vulnerable to them, but I'll be able to attack more of the other ones. So let's try that out. Give that a shot. Um, so I will attack you, because I have the highest chance of hitting you. Bada bing, bada boom. And then it seems always like a no brainer to always equip this for whenever it could be ready. And then what was that thing on the side of the wall there? Like yeah, this right here, this little green thing? Don't know, it looks like maybe we could go down those ways? I'm not entirely sure. So she has, you know, a pow more powerful weapon than what we started with. Oh yeah, well, she can go down there. But would that be a good idea? Could she get back up? She cannot. So I don't know if I like that. Um, I mean, if anything, I could attack first, go down there and try to find a place to hide. But once again, I don't know if that's a good idea. Hmm. Maybe we should start with Rabbit Luigi then. Um, Attack you for 100% chance, because why not? With your brand new yo-yo. Oh, and that did burn. He's running around like a maniac. It would be funny if he hopped into the water, but not quite. Okay, so I can, <clears throat> sorry, my, my voice is really messing up right now. I can go ahead and hit him, 
And then... Wait here. And then work with that. I think that's our best case scenario because I can't hop back up here once again. But you know what I could do with Rabbit Peach? It's a few different things. So let me... Uh, see what I can do. So we can pull out your immunity right now. And see if I can't... Uh, where can I bounce off of from you? I mean, just to a better vantage point would be the best. Could I just walk over here though? I can't. Hmm. So what can I make work from here? If I do this, there's actually several different rabbits that I can at least try to attack. So I guess that'll be my best bet for now. We'll attack the one that Mario attacked, hopefully be able to at least help take it out. And we will critical, so there, that one's not gonna be able to move. And it can't move at all, because it's dead. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't think we'll need that damage reduction just now because we should have 100% blockage from both of these characters. So let's end this right here. Um, and as I'm recording this, the first episode was released, so I'm like looking on the side trying to see what people are saying and I'm getting some nice comments, so thank you so much. Oh boy. Uh, okay, so that's working out pretty well. The shield that, whoa, I didn't even know you were up here, buddy. You're sort of catching me by surprise. I should have probably double checked for that. Ah. Yeah, Mario's just a surprise. So Mario hasn't used a special ability, right? Or is, I've just not been paying attention. Not really sure, but you are bouncing like a bouncer does way up here, and, and now he has a high ground advantage. He's gonna take that advantage to attack Rabbit Luigi. I don't like that. Hmm. So what is my best bet right now? Um, I could make my way over here and attack you. That might be good. I could do that same thing like that, but I don't think that really really changes anything. I could go through here, right? If I go like this, I can I can't slide attack you quite like I want. But you, I can I could slide tackle you, turn around, go through the pipe. And then I can't bounce off of you though. I wish you were just slightly over. Uh oh on. I mean even then, then I can attack this rabbit. So maybe that's what I want to do. Sure. And then Rabid Peach can at least try to give a good shot there. It would be cool if there was a slide move that knocks him out of cover. That'd be helpful too. Let's go ahead and do that. Hit you for a little bit at the least, maybe keep you distracted. So I think you hopefully will do 13 damage. I don't think so though. I think it's gonna leave them with a little under. And then, can I move my camera? Not too much going on over there. Who can I hit then? I don't think I can hit you in any angle, right? Oh no, maybe. Maybe if I hide like right here. The problem is that if this does not take care of this rabbit, oh, oh, oh it did some like extra damage. So now I've hit it in a bad place. So I should have just bet on their extra damage, Aaron. Um, and we'll just attack you. Uh, it's a 50% chance of hitting. And it hits, nice. So now, Rabbit Peach only really has the option of attacking you. But if it lands, that'll be great. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do that now. Attack you. And then, ah, oh, it doesn't quite get you. That stinks. Um. Well then if all I have is her movement and her damage reduction, or yeah, I guess she does have the damage reduction. My best bet then would probably be to hide here and try to distract Mr. Rabbit. See if I can't get him and the other one to attack Rabbit Peach so that other people aren't taking as much damage. But of course you're gonna take the easy shot because you're not a go-getter. <laughs> Don't worry, I would take the easy shot too. So you're just gonna run over here and you're gonna take the 100% shot but it's not gonna do too much now, is it? Okay, so I have a few options. I think my best option is to do that, bounce off of you and then land right back here. And there you go, will that take him out? We'll have to listen for it. Not quite, but I think we'll be able to take him out with Marion. So if, if this lands, that's it. We got him. Boom, got him. So that's good. And then move to Mario and really just do this uh, very similar strategy, if not the same strategy. And that would be, maybe I, if that's the case, attack him first. Yeah, definitely attack him first. So go like that, get the 100% attack. I love how you can choose which one you do first. That like opens up so many different possibilities because now I can do that, head down here. And why I'm heading down here is so that maybe Rabbit, maybe I should have made myself go farther then because I don't know if Rabbit Luigi will be able to reach that far. 
Because maybe Rabbit Luigi could bounce up me. Oh no, we got him, okay, never mind. Okay, a perfect battle. That didn't feel like three turns, that felt like much, much longer. We'll try to get at least you know one more level done after this. I'm like an hour into my recording. I had to stop halfway through though for some things. So I'm sure it's not as long for you guys. Um, let's check out our opportunities here. Where does this pipe lead? Oh, that pipe is the pipe I'm coming from. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's any actual secrets around here. I'm fine with that. So let's go back and then, hmm. Yo, let's go this way. Oh, oh hey, look, it's a mushroom. Oh wow, that heals some of my teammates now. Rabbit Luigi, poor guy, didn't get a full heal. I don't know if it's because he's the farthest back or if he just had that little health, but whoa. Hey, it's Luigi, I was right. <laughs> I called the foreshadowing. He's shaking, he's scared, he ain't even in his mansion and he's scared. Oh, it's that thing. It's the, the super thing. Oh, he's so cute. Oh my gosh, he's adorable. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. They're equally as scared. Oh, watch out, Luigi. Watch out, other rabbit thing. Oh no. In breathment, maybe? Oh, he is not happy. <laughs> Except for the rabbit on top, and the rabbit's had a good time. He's having a little bit of a rodeo. Oh no, he's gonna combine him, isn't he? Into a rabbit piranha plant. Is this gonna be our first boss fight? <laughs> hey, look at that! Oh, piranha plant, noxious fireweed. Interesting. Defeat mid-boss, so it is a boss, it's a mid-boss, but it is a boss. So I could pull out easy mode here, and I'm not going to though. You guys can let me know. Would you freak out if I ended up uh, pulling out, oh, and there's enemies to fight too. If I ended up, uh, what's it called? Um, Pulling out easy mode, would you guys be mad at me? I don't know, I think I'll definitely right now. Oh, and there's one up here, and my best bet then is definitely to attack you get you out of here. Now that didn't defeat you, which is actually a bit of a bummer. Um, Then there's another one up here. Then what is my best bet then? Maybe to, I mean that would just sort of be unnecessary. Hmm. Oh, just run away. <laughs> run back from the entrance. I don't know. I think our best bet then is to skip to Yoon and try to, wait, no. Try to attack you with this thing. Leave you down, that's not the button I meant to press. But I do get a 100% chance of hitting you from here, really? That's really weird. Boom, okay. Well then Mario can help finish you off by switching to Mario. Um, okay, I'm doing all kinds of weird mistakes here. I just wanna hit this. That way it can probably finish you off. It does, I think. Yes, it does. So now Mario can move, which is great for him. Um, I'm proud of him, moving around and such. But does he really want to move? I don't think so. We will use his special ability, and then maybe we'll end the turn with that. Let's take a look at the rest of our characters. They can move, but they can't attack. So the thing is that I might want to activate Rabbit Luigi's special ability because he is sort of in a precarious position, and end it with that. Enemies are gonna go, so let's see what this guy's com uh, uh, capable of. He has 300 health, and I think what we're, ouch! Oh gosh, he has a height advantage. I don't like this, and I know the other rabbits are gonna be able to attack that box, I don't like it, and he can attack multiple times a turn. No, Mario, you're gonna put a stop to it, sort of. So he has a height advantage that he's using quite a lot. I don't like it, it makes me uncomfortable, but he can attack multiple times, it's just he attacked and then he moved. Um, and now he's gonna attack that. It's gonna, poor rabbit Peach. She is not having a good time right now. So fire can spread, it can spread. Oh, look at that, the triple spread. So it can spread to your own, and or you can spread to your own teammates. It can spread to an enemy, to a teammate, to a teammate. Crazy stuff happening there, but everybody is beating up on poor, poor rabbit Peach. Okay, so he's running off that way. Maybe we should not even focus on these rabbits and instead focus full on on the mid boss. That might be what we have to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and, I don't know, do what I can really. What can I do, you know? Weird situations for sure. Cause I could go ahead and attack you guys, you know, maybe relieve some anger and you know, bad situations. I just don't know if it would actually be good. Hmm. Well maybe I could just sit here and sit tight and then attack you straight on. 
Bada bing, bada boom. So now maybe with Rabid Peach, I could get her to bounce up here, but once again, I wish it was like a double bounce technique we could maybe learn, that'd be good. Maybe I just need to get you up here where it's safe, and then you'll have the high ground, which can be beneficial. Even if I have to take care of this guy to you know, secure it. Because then I can uh, attack him from the high ground. I should do extra damage, right? That's good. And then let's do a uh, weapon damage reduction, just in case he does come up here and make things unfun for me. And then we have Rabbit Luigi, who he's a little too far off to really attack any of those guys. So I think, can he uh, attack this? Okay, I'm out of the target site. So what I should do then is hide here. Nope, here. And then, I'm still out of the site, really? That's baloney. That is total baloney. I don't like that. Okay, so let's see what this jerk's gonna do. He's just gonna find another angle to attack people. But he is gonna attack the damage reduced um, Peach here, Rabbit Peach. But still a lot of damage. It's, it adds a lot of unpredictability when they can do that fire damage. That is really hard to handle. I wish our special effect would go off more. Rabbit Luigi really hasn't had too much of a chance to use his fire damage. Oh, this game has gotten really tough really quick. But is that a bad thing? Not at all. So I think I wanna just get you here. And then I just want you to attack him. Head on, ready, boom. So that did some damage. Once again, he has 300 health. We're gonna have to do more than that. Um, I can bounce off of you, try to get myself into a decent position. Cause there's rabbits there and there's rabbits here. What can I really do? I could either take the, the onslaught from him or the rabbits. Honestly, I think we would take less damage from him alone than both of the rabbits combined. So we'll do some extra 20 damage, bounce exactly to here. Very, very uh, necessary. Um, No, 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 go back here. Use your attack to attack you, get you down to less than 200 health, which is great. Hmm. And what can I do with you? Not too much from here, but you are so low on health, I think I just wanna keep you nice and protected, which might not be good from this angle. Um, let's hit you. Bada bing, bada boom. I keep saying that, but it just, it feels right. When they aim up, that's what it just, the sound effect that goes on in my head. 121 health now for these two. Oh gosh, is he doing like a, oh no. So he has like crazy special moves and everything. Stop, drop, and rolling. At least they're, you know, teaching the kids who were playing proper fire safety techniques. Stop, drop, and roll, but that destroyed a bunch of berries that are gonna leave Rabbit Luigi very, very open. I don't like it. But he's hiding by the fire now, but now we're good to go. Ooh. Come on, if I could get to a good position here, this could be great. So where does this lead? This leads up here. So if I, if I take this one, I'm not in really better position than I was before, but I can, Wait, if I go here, I cannot attack him. If I was here, I could attack him, correct? It's hard, it doesn't really show me. Um, Cause it says that I can. So you know what, maybe we should just, if I hide here, it's the same situation then? Hide and then shoot, ready, boom. Nice, it actually did land at 30 damage and burning. So he's just running around like a little lunatic. Hmm. I think I'll, well, first I'll pick up that coin. Pick up that coin. And then I'll sit here and try to just land the shot. It'll just get you down to hopefully 91 health. 31 damage is really good. And then Rabbit Luigi, buddy, I need you to get to a safer spot. So if you could get up here, that'd be great. But the problem is then you won't be able to hit these guys. So maybe first I just need you to go ahead and rid yourself. Well, I can actually hit you from here. Mmm, tempting. But what's even more tempting, but I can't do that from here. So I might as well just hit you and leave. Ready, boom, this might even activate. Yes, it did! Which means you're gonna get activated. We should, will it explode that fire? It will not. But hey, that was still great. So now he can move. And I'm just gonna actually put him in a defensive position just like I did Rabid Peach because once again, they are both very vulnerable right now, have very little health. So hopefully they just leave us alone. And just make you immune to whatever we can make you immune to. I think that's all the moves we have right now. So should you automatically put it to the enemies and you have 24 health. What can you do? Hopefully something will go awfully wrong. But you're going to attack. No, don't do it. Ah, oh, we were just about to finish him off too. It's always on the last second right before we're about to get a perfect. Oh, that is awful. I'm so unhappy with that. 
Leave that Luigi alone. Okay, thank you. I'm so mad now. I'm an angry zebra. <sighs> well, we'll do what we can with all of this. You're gonna aim and shoot again, but there's no way you're doing 90 damage. Yeah, I thought so. Hero's turn. I'm gonna get you to, if you were to attack right now, could you attack you? Yeah, let's see if you can't finish him off. Boom, you can. So the boss is defeated. Do we have to fe defeat these two bozos or are we done? Um, we are done, yay, we did it. We defeated the evil thingamajig. She's not pleased. She's never pleased. Um, what are you doing? No, it's still alive. Too early to be taking the selfie, watch out. <laughs> Never do it for the likes, or this might happen. Oh no, 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 that's a bit, that looks like a bit of a headache. <laughs> the slow motion impact is the best. <laughs> There's always time for another selfie though. Ooh, nice. So we've defeated our first boss in all technicality, even if it is just a mid boss, and it turns him back into a regular rabbit and a ra regular piranha. <laughs> oh, group photo. Luigi, how you doing? You, you could have helped, you know, you could have helped. Uh-oh, there's some competition happening. <laughs> well, I guess they're very similar. Aha, so you're the other half of this fable duo, Mario and, and Louis? Lyle? Lurlin? <laughs> er, well, all the same, welcome. <laughs> Doesn't know Luigi's name. Poor Luigi, so we did good, we didn't do perfect. I'm bummed, but we at least cleared the battle. Full health, awesome, awesome stuff. Man, this must be a long episode by now. Okay, so we get two stars. That's gonna be an extra 100 coins or 200 coins? I guess an extra 200 coins. Or 400, I don't know why, but that's what we got. Continue. Skill tree, congrats, you just unlocked the skill tree. Now you can upgrade your heroes. Ooh, so there is a level up system. Also by defeating the Parabid plant, you earn power orbs, which are exactly what you need to purchase things from the skill tree. Coincidence? Hardly. Let's go now to the battle HQ so you can spend your well-earned power orbs. Amiibo R&D, Amiibo R&D. Oh, so you can use Amiibo in this game. Amiibo R&D is where rabbits experiment with those lovely figurines. Do you know, do you have any of them? Nope. Uh, bring them to the new facility. It's near Peach's Castle. Buddy Dome, hey you, quit I get all the fun. Head to Buddy Dome near Peach's Castle to show off your skills with another player. Ooh, two player, Luigi. Just point him to the battlefield, at the back of it, that is. Be sure to check Luigi's skill tree too. Ooh, he sort of looks like a sniper type character. I like that. New weapons in stock. There are new weapons available for purchase at the Battle HQ. Tons of new stuff, good, good, good. So with that being said, we have gone through tons and tons of action, and these coins are still sitting here, so I'm definitely going to take them. We've gone through tons and tons of action in today's episode, and we still have more of World 1 to complete, but I think at some point, we're going to have to sit back and let it deal with the next episode. So I think we're gonna do that soon. Um, first, let me get whatever collectibles I can find. Because I can only imagine there's still gonna be a couple more levels. Uh, through the lawns, you got a new soundtrack. Good, good, good. And... That's all I really see in this area. Yeah, it looks like it, so what are we gonna find here? Uh, Not too much yet, ooh, I like this area. The lily pads, the, the, the water life. It's really relaxing. And there's a little sunblock here, and cloud. Hmm, how are we getting through all that? Maybe we could just go through this very obvious circle. If this was a platforming game, we could, but it's not, so we can't jump. Weird the scene, but it's true. Hmm, a bit of a puzzle. This is what we'll do to finish off today's episode then. We will try to finish off this puzzle, do some mini games, have some fun, and yeah, all the kind of stuff. So go against this mini game. This is our second ever mini game. The first one was a lot of fun, even though it was pretty simple and pretty easy and pretty quick. Well, let's just collect these blue coins. Oh, we got it. I see what we gotta do. So we get three seconds to sort of decipher the puzzle, which is good. Go through here, and then I just need to spam the A button. Oh geez, turn around, turn around. You just wanna get caught up in the corners and we got 10 seconds left to get these coins on. Ooh, got him. Okay, good. And we get for that, it looks like hopefully a new weapon. Ooh, it is. The spike strike for Luigi, that looks so cool. So we're already getting cool new weapons for Luigi. We probably have plenty of coins to get it to him too. So those coins that we collect here, did they actually count towards our total coin count? Cause that would make it uh, just a little bit more easy to uh, get new weapons. But So we took down that cloud block, which not only means that we got that, Hmm. 
but maybe we could reach some other things now too. Where was the cloud back before? It was over here. So now we can get rid of the moon, which also raises this, cool. So get that, and then if we make our way back over here where the moon was, we can now take care, take care of the sun. Lots of like little things like that you can see in the background and it is actually doing something. Hmm, so what is all this over here? Tons more. Apparently, you can only unlock the star by taking out the star. I mean, this is where it gets complicated, because once again, we do not know how to push things. Maybe Luigi does. And we can uh, pull him out somehow, and uh, he can do it for us. But for right now, I'm totally clueless. Hmm. But we do have this right here. Maybe this can do something for us. Because this is the only other thing that unlocks by uh, taking down the... Uh, Sun, oh yeah, okay, that's what we do. So now there's plenty of other options opened up, including going back here, because I did see this red ring. Last time we got this, we got a cool item out of it, cool uh, weapon, maybe that'll be the case now. Where are the coins? Okay, there's one right here. There is another right here. Um, another one over here. They are pretty separated. You gotta really know where you're going. And then where's this gonna lead me? To more red coins, wherever it leads me, I'm happy to go. Um. Or not. Where are the rest of my red coins? Um, <laughs> guess that's not where I was supposed to go. Uh, well, there's another one here. That's five, though. I need three more. What in the world? Okay, so I think I figured it out this time. I had to get this one. I gotta get this one. That's three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Yep, okay. So we did do it as long as we can get there in time. So I just gotta go like that, cut this corner as tight as we can, yep, and then finally this one, and I'm gonna guess the prize is gonna, wait, no, that's seven. Oh, wait, eight, <laughs> right on this one. Okay, so it is over there. I, I suspected that the final prize would be there, and that's why the um, it led to the pipe as the last one. Sorta of did it wrong, but you know what? As long as we get the prize, is it really wrong? I'm gonna say no. So what is our weapon gonna be this time? It seems like gold chest always a weapon. Most valuable thing we can get. It is the Bowser Basher. Wait a minute, this isn't this is a melee weapon. Hey, maybe you'll even get to smack Bowser with his own hands. Ow! Why are you hitting yourself? Ow, why are you hitting yourself? <laughs> okay, so let's check that out really quick. Is this one of those secondary weapons? And we gotta check out the skill tree as well. Secondary. We can't pull up a secondary. But like as you can see, this weapon is nowhere near. Here, so I think that that is a secondary for Mario. We just haven't unlocked secondaries yet. So where's Luigi? Wow, and he has a couple weapons. We wanna use him base first and try him out. Cause he is a long range. Like all three of the other ones have been medium range. He's a long range, so that's interesting. Hmm, I don't know. We'll have to check all that out soon. The skill tree here, and there's a lot going on. And they all have their own skill tree here? Wow, but we have 10 points. So that is all stuff I think we're gonna figure out in the next episode, but for now, we are finished with today's episode of Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. If you watch this point of video, make sure you comment Luigi Zebra so that you've watched to the end and that you are a Zebratastic viewer. If you enjoyed today's episode and you'll wanna see more like it, feel free to click on any of the ones on your screen right now or subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.